Good morning, guys. Happy, or good afternoon, excuse me. It's five after one already, man. Where does the time go? Friday the 13th. I didn't realize it was Friday the 13th until um, about half an hour ago. Not that I'm superstitious or anything like that, but happy Friday the 13th. So, we got another beautiful day. The wind has picked up a little bit, but I was out for my morning walk this morning. It was like 41, 42 degrees. It was, only, it was only supposed to be 34 today, so it was already warmer than projected. Um, we had 48 degrees yesterday. We had 50 degrees the day before. It feels like springtime. I know it's not. It's an incredible mindfuck, but it feels like spring out there. It really does. Chickens are out having a blast, running around, scratching stuff, eating greens. They're happy to be out. You know, I've had them out over yeah, the last week and a half or so. Pretty much every day for at least five hours. Um, no signs of any predators. Knock on wood. So hopefully we'll continue with that. I uh, put some straw bales around the bottom of their coop. What was it? Just over a week ago. Because uh, we had some really cold temperatures wind chill like you know, negative 15 and uh, put it around the base of their coop where they hang out underneath just to create um, a windbreak for them and they're crazy man we get a little bit of snow and they don't want to come out of the coop it'll be negative 35 degrees with the wind chill which we hit um, a couple days in a row we'll be outside standing around you know one leg like, go in the coop Please. Yeah. So I got that taken care of. Um, I learned just the other day you can add herbs to their nesting box to give them a little bit of aromatherapy when they're in there, um, as well as uh, it helps keep mites at bay. So I added some, um, I didn't have any fresh herbs, but I had some dry herbs, which I threw in there. And, uh, some nice chocolate mint from the garden this past year that I put in there. It smells nice. And then I had, I utilized our Christmas tree, which we got rid of yesterday. Finally took it outside. It still smells really, really strong. Clipped off some branches from that and threw it inside the coop. It smells so much better in there. So if you have chickens, you have your Christmas tree, utilize it, because it'll make your coop smell a whole lot better. And I'm sure the, uh, the chickens will appreciate it as well. I'm still getting some, you know, really nice eggs. Brown it. And I can feel the difference since they've been out free-ranging over this past just week and a half. Just, uh, the shell itself you can tell is harder and just seems more dense than the eggs I've had lately getting back to those nice orange not yellow yolks like you get you know when you buy eggs from the uh, the grocery store nice orange yolks so I'm really uh, really happy about that but yeah I'm getting um, anywhere between two up to seven eggs a day which you know that's more than enough for us more than enough so I got a basket Sitting right here. Some basket full of eggs. Alrighty, and I have what? Almost a dozen right there, which we've been using those guys, so plenty, plenty of eggs. So check this out. Yesterday I started the process of making um, ginger beer so I got the ginger bug going which that's what they call it um, I don't really know why they call it a ginger bug you know it's nothing more than um, grated ginger organic ginger and sugar and water and over the course of the next week I'll give it a little bit of ginger fresh ginger and uh, sugar every day and then after a week, I'll make a ginger tea with ginger root and sugar and water. 
and then I'll marry them together and put them in a bigger jar and let that ferment for another another couple weeks and have some ginger beer so be excited to try that out also yesterday I made some red wine vinegar a little bit of red wine that was sitting in the cellar um, been there for a while so I added some uh, some apple cider vinegar to it and we'll let that sit for three months so this won't be ready until March 12th so we got a few months until that's ready but um, should be good on salads for a salad dressing and then today I made some sauerkraut pretty nice looking huh nice head of organic cabbage at the grocery store and sauerkraut's really simple to make it's cabbage salt and water that's all it is I do have a lid on it I don't have an airlock so every day um, I'll just burp it a little bit, let some air out, but that'll ferment. And typically you let it sit for three to five days. I'm gonna let this sit for about a week. So next Saturday, we'll have some sauerkraut and we'll have some bratwurst. And growing up, I never liked sauerkraut. My dad would have it when he'd make uh, kibasi. And you know, I'd try it. There's part of me that wanted to like it, but I, it's just, it's an acquired taste. It's definitely an acquired taste. You know, it's tart, it's tangy. Um, but growing up, I hated it. For all I know right now, I still don't like it. But, but, I love tart and tangy. You know, apple cider vinegar I take every day, which is very tart, very tangy. Got, of course, my kombucha that I, I make, homemade. And I make it super, super strong. Like, man, you put your nose to this. Woo! Man, if you could smell that, it is heavy. This is actually sat quite a bit. It's going to be pretty much pure vinegar here shortly. It's just my SCOBY hotel. So I put all my SCOBYs in there. Got a handful of SCOBYs. So make some more kombucha here soon. But yeah, growing up, I never cared for sauerkraut. And for whatever reason, I thought about it the other day. My girlfriend loves it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to you know, make some homemade, because I've heard homemade is definitely better than the stuff you buy in the store. And, uh, fingers crossed. Well, listen, if I don't like it, it was a small investment. I think I paid three or four bucks for the cabbage. I had the salt and a little bit of time, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes all together. If I don't like it, the girlfriend will eat it. So, that's that. What else? about it man not much uh, going on upcoming you know seeing the properties tomorrow uh, Kristen's birthday we're gonna go to Portland she's a tattoo appointment I have a tattoo appointment next month on the 10th that's really about it you know it's gonna be quiet the rest of the winter and then uh, hopefully before we know it we'll be uh, be packing this place up and moving the hell out of here. But tomorrow, um, I'll probably take uh, take some video of the properties that we walk, if not pictures, which I may or may not post to Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, give me a follow. Um, Insta, I-N-S-T-A, underscore, Jaker, J-A-K-E-R, and, uh, yeah, post a picture or two, try to, if I don't, take a video, so, that's all I got for now, guys, man, um, hope everyone had a safe and happy new year, I don't think I've talked to you guys really since then, um, so, yeah, enjoy the weekend, and we'll talk soon. Bye.